Is it good? <laughs> good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another video. I was totally, totally not expecting snow today. I had no idea that this was planned. What a different and fun start to the, to the vlog today. I'm currently attempting to balance you on a pillow on the sofa. So we'll see how this goes. If you managed to catch my most recent video that I uploaded last weekend, I spoke about how I feel that the community that watch these videos at the moment is my favorite, these like I've ever, ever had watching my videos. And I'm just loving it so much and enjoying chatting with you all, having you all watching. So I appreciate you being here. And I wanted to generate like an interesting conversation in the comments of the video. So I asked everybody watching to leave a comment down below saying what their favorite body part was and why. And the replies were unbelievable. I honestly, I can't explain how much time I've spent over the last couple of days reading the comments on the video. And there's just been so many answers and so many replies that I've never thought about, which has made me want to kick off this video by asking another question. But instead of right at the end of the video, I just thought I'd start off the video by asking, what is the next version of yourself that you want to head into? For me, I spoke about this a little bit in the first video of 2023, slow paced, simplicity and family life. The overarching word is simplicity is what I'm like really working towards at the moment. So I'd love to know what is the era of life that you're heading into? Is it the, the time of travel and you're planning to go traveling for a bit? Is it the time of work and you're focusing on your career and progressing that? Is it the time of health and fitness or whatever it may be? I don't want to try and answer what it is for you and like give you ones to pick from. Everybody's going to have their own thing. What are you like working towards at the moment? And then secondly, sorry, my camera battery just died. Just had to pop a new one in. I was about to say, I want you to be fully honest with yourself for a second and have a think about are you actually making the best effort oh sorry the camera's wonky the best effort you can to work towards that goal if i'm being super honest i feel like i also had the same goal in 2022 of slowing things down and having more available time for family life but then when i actually think about it other than the secrets out podcast as you know which i stopped that i didn't stop any other projects i didn't slow down on anything else so although I had the aim, last year I didn't really do much to actually achieve that. And therefore, I didn't really achieve it too much. And only now like, am I starting to really reap the rewards of the last five months of work, of actually putting foundations in to switch things up, to be able to move into that era. Sorry, not to get too deep, but my question is, what is that thing for you? I'd love to know in the comments. Again, there's definitely no right, there's definitely no wrong. And then separately, and obviously you don't have to comment that, genuinely take some time to have a think about are you actually putting in the work and putting in the time and the things that it's gonna take to actually get to where you wanna go? Because it is so easy to just have a name, not really have a plan on how to get there and then you blink and then six months have gone by and you're not actually any closer to where you want it to be because you haven't changed anything to get there. I feel like I've started this video off a lot deeper than what it was meant to be. Like it was meant to just be a chill chat about where do you want to go and are you actively doing your best and everything you can to get there. And now I don't know, it just feels like I've gone really deep, but I haven't, I don't mean to be. Last week, if you watched the video, I spoke about the fact that the previous week, I went to Berlin for 24 hours. I had the most amazing trip, and I said that I was gonna put the footage into this video. If you've been watching my videos for years and years and years, you will know a very, very, very good old friend of mine, Marcus Butler, who I used to make. I don't even know how many videos, hundreds, if not thousands of videos together, over probably a 10 year span on YouTube. It's been like three years or something since we last saw each other. Anyways, we spent 24 hours together in Berlin, had the most amazing time catching up. So if you're an old school viewer, I really hope you enjoy this. It feels like reminiscing on old times of like me and Marcus being together, which was really, really cool. It was very special. And yeah, I had a great trip. So I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy this footage.
it has been a while, a while since I last travelled abroad. In fact, I was looking last night, I was looking back at photos on my phone of the last time that I flew abroad, and it was December 2019. Which, if you follow my vlogs for a while, you'll know that I used to like travel all the time. I'm incredibly excited to be here. I'm currently in Berlin, obviously. I love it in Berlin. I've been twice before. This trip is particularly quick. I'm literally, I flew in last night and I'm flying back tonight. So I need to soak up, see as much, do as much as possible whilst I'm here. And I'm here to check out the all new Kona electric car by Hyundai. I'm big into my electric cars. I've driven all electric for what, like nearly two years now. And prior to owning that car, I've driven other electric cars as well. So I'm genuinely super excited to check out, check out the all new Kona. It comes in a couple of different variants. Obviously I'm the most excited about the all electric, but you can obviously get it with combustion engine. You can also get it as a hybrid as well. I need to pack up the hotel room and be downstairs in four minutes to get picked up. So let's get, let's get going. <laughs> You need to jump in the front. Jump the front Go and drive. Oh, yeah. This is called vehicle to load. So you can plug in devices into the back here. I've never seen this before in a car. And literally pop things on charge. So I could be doing a video edit whilst charging my laptop in the back of the car whilst Marcus is driving me. Where are we going? That's <laughs> Right, let me show you something else. Pop in the boot, because this is designed to be an SUV. You've got such a bigger cargo space in the back. So you've got all of this here. Obviously you can pop these seats down as well. But you've also got this space. Just asking for asking for the old road trip. Sound nicely as well. You've also got the option to be able to open up the car with a smartphone or your smartwatch if you've got one. Obviously it's not connected to my phone now because this isn't my car. You simply place it there and it will unlock for you. Genius. Whilst Marcus is working out the old. Ambient lighting. I'm gonna have a little first row relaxation. No, you, you can't I mean, relax. I want to relax as well. No, you're meant to be doing the lighting. Relaxing as well. Especially with the sunroof. Imagine you go like, you know, you've just watched the sunset. You know, we've just watched the sunset together. Yeah, the stars are out. Too. We've put the chairs back. Yeah, dude, that's a complete vibe. You don't even have a car. This is this ideal is, for you running around the city. This is charging this, up. This is my car. You're in my car. <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> You're in my car. <laughs> Should I just drive off? Should I just drive and just scoot out of it? The back is really spacious. Super as well. spacious, man. Super spacious. It's such a great sized car. Like, I'm not even joking when I say this. For like road trips, family vibe, packing your friends in. It's not a massive car, but equally, it's not tiny. It's such a great sized car. inside the car, but you can also output from here electric as well. This is where obviously you charge the car up and you plug it in, but you could also plug in like an electric pedal bike and have power coming the opposite way to charge up your pedal bike from your car. Game changer. <laughs> Marcus and I haven't seen each other for like, what, three, four three, years? Three, four years. Brought us back together, so I appreciate it. So switching up from the Kona all electric, this is the Ionic 5. I think Marcus has got more photos of this car than he has photos of anything else on his phone. <laughs> He's been literally snapping pictures for about half an hour. <laughs> Wait, it's nice. 
this is the hybrid Kona and the inline, so it's much more sporty. It's nice to just have the option, isn't it, between like real sporty and an equally family car. Also smells great. You know just the smell. You know this. Mind if I hop lift, mate? You jumping in? Yeah. Where do you want to go to? Space. Okay. Can you take me there? Yeah, sporty car. You know the new car smell? Yeah. It just smells great. Just got back from that little afternoon trip out with Poppy and Sean and Zoe and Otty. We also went for a dinner, but we went to a spot that you're not allowed to take any pictures or videos in, so I couldn't film anything. And I've just popped Otty in the bath and to bed, and now I'm about to upload this video that you're watching right now. Like I spoke about at the beginning of the video, if you've got the time, if you've got a couple of minutes to answer what area you're going into, I'd love to know. I'd love to chat about it in the comments. And it's nice to finally have the Berlin footage out there because I've been speaking about the trip for a couple of weeks and I've been showing you little bits on Instagram, but now you can finally see what I got up to in Berlin with Marcus. I've got a very exciting week coming up this week ahead of me. Kicking off on Tuesday, we've got the photo shoot for the Future Self Lifestyle Club, the new clothing coming out in a couple of weeks actually now. It's coming out really soon. So I'll make sure to film some behind the scenes of the shoot so I can show you next week. And I'm gonna get uploading this video. So I hope you enjoyed it as always. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Literally takes two seconds to do both of those things. And I'll see you next week with another new video.